her 21 year old son of a capital murder case in Texas. And so I began to fight my son's case from that point. Smith filed a motion to change attorneys and realized that without more evidence, her son would spend the rest of his life in prison. Had I not investigated my son's case back then, my son would be sitting in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice serving life without parole. Ten days before trial, that second degree murder case was dismissed against my son. So, uh, and, and, and that attorney also uh, was disbarred as a result of my fouling complaints, being persistent, being tenacious. Smith says her son's case prepared her for her life's mission. I've gone from being an advocate to now also being a licensed private investigator here in the state of Missouri. There There's the, the victim there, going up, happen. attacking him from behind. Smith works with defense attorneys to help find evidence to prove their client's innocence. Many of the cases she takes free of charge. She has agreed to provide pro bono investigative services I can tell you that investigative services can go anywhere from three to five thousand dollars. It's difficult when a person is charged with a crime because people think that law enforcement got it right, and many times they don't. As you know, I'm a criminal defense private investigator, and so I. I need to take some pictures of the camera. Smith is working on the 2003 Keith Carnes murder case. The Kansas City man is serving life without parole for first degree murder. Carnes says he's innocent. Mr. Carnes was here on this porch with other people, other witnesses have placed him here, yet he was charged with this crime. Kent Jim Gibson Gardner is Carnes' attorney. American he says woman. Smith I mean, has uncovered new evidence in the case. She has been able to find literally scores of people.